One more thing. Maybe the best part about the day of game five was Mavs Twitter. And a thing that happened on Mavs Twitter. I'm usually not saying Mavs Twitter was a great thing, but it was. We'll tell you the story of the locked in Luca photo and all that and more right now. I'm here because uh, I have to be here. Dallas is going to get a seat at the table. That's it. It's me versus the machine. Don't let his whiteness take away from his quickness. You can rest later. You're young. And they're here. Wait, 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 wait. One more thing. And welcome. You are still locked on to the Dallas Mavericks. My name is Nick Engstead, media member and your best friend covering the Dallas Mavericks with the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Today's episode is brought to you by FanDuel. Make every moment more. Right now, new customers get $200 in bonus bets with any winning $5 bet. That's $200 in bonus bets with any winning $5 bet. Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on to get started. Joining me, a continuation of the post-game show, slightly biased. And uh, I call you a cult leader sometimes. And sometimes it's like, ah, is this just a YouTuber? Like, is this just a guy on YouTube? And then other times it really happens. And if you've been on Mavs Twitter at all today, it was the probably the most fun thing that happened. And maybe that says more about the Mavs game five than it does about, it, <laughs> about this. But you put up a photo of Luca mm-hmm. as your avatar and you're like, lock in. Just like you've been doing all throughout this whole run. And... uh just, and this is a picture of Luca. It's the it was the edit of when LeBron James was yeah. coming back from down three one of uh, <laughs> when he was with the Cavs. He's wearing these like wired Beats headphones. He's got these sunglasses on, and it's an edit of Luca in those headphones and sunglasses. And everyone started to make this their avatar, their their profile photo on Twitter. How did you decide to do this, and how did it get started? Okay. One thing I didn't make the picture. I don't know who I, I, somebody reached out to me about who did it. I, I can't, I don't remember it or else I would shout them out. Hold on. Let me scroll through my timeline and try to find it. But, uh, <laughs> uh, sad, sad, wistful was his at, was his Twitter name to me. There you go. Shout that. out to you. So the, he is supposedly the one who made it. Uh, I don't know. I just tweeted it. I thought it'd be funny if I was just like, Hey, I, I forgot what else <laughs> I tweeted, but I don't really want to take any real credit for this. Cause I think it was more so, uh, some of the other Mavs Twitter people who took it and kind of turned it into like yeah. a big time. You well, you just you put it on your profile and then you said lock in and then you went to the gym like you left your phone right. Yeah, I did. I was and, I was not on it for a while. And then shout out to like Lindsay Kate and some of the Mavs Twitter people, Mavs Marie. She was other really people. the one I think that that I got. It. I got bullied by a hundred Mavs fans to make it to make it mine, and. uh it became a thing. And all of a sudden, all my notifications, you can go back through my my tweets of like all my notifications <laughs> were just people with this profile photo. And so like everybody that was, every new follower I got that day had this profile picture was locked in. And I just found it. I found it amazing. And I found it one of the, the things that like we talked about in the post game episode, how great sport is to follow athletes, to follow a season for a team. And like this is another thing that just brings you together. It's almost like we we're all wearing the same shirt. And we showed up at a watch party with the same shirt. Or we were at a game and yeah. all wore the same shirt and showed up. But instead, it was a profile picture. And uh, if you're verified, it's stuck there for like four days. <laughs> that is the uh, unintentionally <laughs> hilarious part about this and sad part is I did not realize that was a thing. Uh, I still would have done it. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I didn't realize it was a thing. And I now am stuck with this profile picture for four days. Before you say, gross, you're verified on Twitter. Yeah, hey, bring me my money, man. I'm not gonna. I'm not about <laughs> to sit here and let you, like, bring me my money. You can only get paid on Twitter, by the way, if you're verified. I don't know why that's. That's right. I am too. Man, I. Hey, if I'm gonna spend some, if I'm gonna spend time on there, and uh, anyway, I might as well make money off of it. If you're gonna advertise under my tweets, bring me my money. That's my stance on it. <laughs> but you know, it was fun. Um, shout out to WFAA who they host. Yeah. What, what's their What's their relation to this podcast? We're uh, we're owned by their parent company, so we're like affiliated okay. with them. I did a phone interview for them. I must not have said anything interesting. None of my quotes got used <laughs> the article, but they were nice. And, they were nice enough to reach out to me. Uh, and basically, what I told them was, you know, this is the fun. Like what Nick just said, this is the fun stuff about being in the playoffs, man. It, it's so fun when you're just everyone is just kind of rallying behind the cause. And especially when you make it to this point, because you know, if it's in the first round and you're down three zero, three one, that's like let's fire everybody let's trade everybody yeah but you make it to this problem. point and it's just you know i don't want to say you're happy to be here because that sounds bad but you in a lot of ways you Gra- are really grateful happy. grateful grateful you're to grateful. be grateful you're grateful and you've just kind of accepted whatever outcome and you're still happy with whatever outcome it may be it's That's fun okay. to rally behind something and turn that 
yeah, God forsaken place, which really is a God forsaken place <laughs> into Twitter. just a, yeah, into a fun, tolerable, you know, environment for just a few hours. It was a lot of fun. I, I like you said, I was at the gym. I opened my phone. I'm like, what is going on right now? <laughs> The, the fun part to me was how many different variations there were. There were yeah. every player on the Mavericks. There was a Derek Lively one. There was a Kyrie <laughs> Irving one. There was a Jason Kidd one. I saw a Tim Hardaway Jr. I saw an Alex Fudge one. Alex Fudge. Oh, that had to be Alex Fudge Muse. <laughs> I, the Josh Tim Legler Green, one was Dwight, bar none Maxie. the funniest one. Tim Leg there's a Tim Legler version of it, which is great. Uh, <laughs> That's the funniest one. Tim Legler. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody turning this this photo into the, I'll put it up again on YouTube if you're watching. Everyone putting this photo into your avatar was just that was one of the best things. And it's just so fun that to like have a community and it comes together and to do something fun and like I think I saw Josh Eberly say this is a fun healthy this is a fun healthy fun, which usually yeah. that is not what you describe any type of social media right now in 2024, but it was one of those rare moments where I was like let's talk about this because I think that it was super fun and I think that it brought all Mavs fans together even if it came crashing down because game five didn't go nearly as well as we had hoped no. that it would, but, and but then, it was a fun, it was a fun moment. And like, honestly, probably like one of my top five Mavs Twitter moments. Yeah. I can't, I can't really brainstorm mine. I mean, the game seven Suns was an all time classic. Also, that's a the, great one. The apology letter, the Suns sent out afterwards oh. was just so funny. It just that day, was... that day with the apology may be better than the, like winning the game. Oh, Okay, am I am I Mandela infect effect brain? I thought that that came directly after the game. Was that the following day? I think it was the next day. But anyway, that that, that whole that thing, sense. like winning winning that game was amazing. Like that was a great feeling. And then the fact that they put out a, a statement and be like, "Oh, the Mavs win was so good." That. <laughs> but that was more like the, the all of Twitter rallying behind, just blasting the Suns and making fun <laughs> of their fans and their their team and their whole entire like extended families. Like it got a little extended. ugly at times. But like this well, they, this was like a that, fun little. That fan base was so awful to to everybody. Anybody that covered the Mavs yes. that was a fan, like it, it was because they were so awful that you're like, all right, I'm excited for your downfall now. <laughs> I am. I'm a hater in that in that regard. And I'm maybe, very happy. You and maybe, lost the game. maybe if you're a Celtics fan somehow still watching this, you think Mavs fans are that awful too, and that's why you're excited about their downfall. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's where you. No way we're that bad. Maybe no way we're that bad. <laughs> maybe we are. I'm not sure. But I, I don't want to take too much credit for it. I don't know how much of it was me. Uh, I think it was just I'm, everyone excited. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you credit. You're a tastemaker. You're you're a leader. And <laughs> I see. Uh, all right. I, all right. All right. All right. I don't want to be a Twitter leader. Can I? Can I turn in my badge? I don't want to be. Uh, I don't want to be somebody. Some people rally behind on Twitter. That scares me. <laughs> some people uh, out there scare me. Oh man. Uh, so slightly's not taking credit for it, but I'll give him some credit for it. <laughs> And uh, and yeah, it was a, it was a fun moment on Twitter. That's what that's if you were confused as to what was happening. That's what was happening. It was a great moment. We all rallied around it. Mavs Twitter all came together for one purpose, and it was great for for a day. So there you go, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with us on Locked On Mavs. The one more thing.